This is the choice, guys. Type R or Golf R? Be honest, right? What would you prefer to see in, on a YouTube channel? Would you like to see the variety of a Type R and a GTI? Welcome back to the channel and as you guys can see we've traded out our 2024 black Volkswagen Golf GTI 380 edition for this white one and I had such an amazing experience over at the dealership shout out to prestige Volkswagen uh, I'm considering trading in my 2023 FL5 Honda Civic Type R for the a Golf R that they just got in so I know it sounds crazy but hear me out hear me out my way of thinking is that if I get two of the last uh, manual gearbox Golfs, like the Golf GTI and then the Golf R, that will be the last year that they're making these cars. So I can later on basically spin the block and get another FL5 Type R in 2025. So then I could have the Golf R the, I mean, the Golf GTI, the Golf R, and the Type R. And I would also like to add on the Subaru WRX TS. So I plan on having all of these cars at some point. You know, I'd love to have like a, you know, a five car garage. So that's something that we're thinking about doing. But I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you think it's worth the risk coming out of the Type R right now and getting the Golf R instead. Or should I just keep the Type R and add on those other cars later on as like used vehicles or something? But comment below, let me know. But without further ado, let's head out to Prestige Volkswagen. Let's go check out this Golf R, see how this goes. All right, so we made it over to Prestige Volkswagen and here we are, man. This is the choice, guys. Type R or Golf R? Like, I'll do a walk around so you guys can see. But actually, before I do the walk around, let me introduce my sales guy here. Come on, come on on camera, man. Let, let me show off the good looks. <laughs> you know, we got the Type R here, the Golf R here. All right. It's a pretty good choice. If you guys need any vehicles, you come on the Prestige Volkswagen and I'll get you guys right. All uh, right, his name is Braxton, right? Yeah, Braxton. So yeah, so you guys ask for Braxton, tell him race car friend sent you, he'll take care of you. And so yeah, here we go. We got Boost Blue on the Type R. And I believe this is like a type of, I think this might be pure white on the, yeah, so it's pure white on the Golf R. Uh, MSRP on this is 47,861. So it's comparable, I would say, to the Type R price-wise, because you know with these Type Rs, you're not getting them at MSRP. <laughs> so actually the Type R is actually probably a little bit more expensive because like I got mine for 55,000 but they you know they over allowed on my trade so i kind of broke even right around uh 47 000, i would say so comparable to the um to the golf r but the looks and the way they perform is very different so the type r is i think they have the same horsepower i think they're both at 315 horsepower but the type r is front wheel drive with a, an amazing uh limited slip differential and the golf r is all wheel drive with its front wheel biased, but it switches on the rear when it needs to and it has some nifty drift modes and, stink and things like that. But look at the front, see? You got the subtle R badge right there, Volkswagen logo there. You have this blue strip coming across here with a light bar underneath it that looks really cool at night. Type R, very simple. You know, you got the little styling cues down there at the bottom you got the big r for honda there i mean the big h for honda there then you got the type r right there you have a heat extractor on the type r nothing like that on the golf r actually let me get the you got the keys yes, sir. all right so one cool thing about the golf r is when you open it the mirrors flip up like that so you got the mirror flip up like that and while we're here let's take a look at the interior so with this you have three memory uh seating so you have three modes for memory seating right there i personally like manual because i could just slide it back a lot faster but yeah because you know i got to slide it all the way back <laughs> all right and push down but this is the interior for the golf r very similar to my gti 
but also very different. The color scheme is very different. And the downside for me with the Golf R is, you see what happens when I push the seat all the way back here? Almost no space in the back. So I'll be running into that same problem going with the GTI and the Golf R. I would have not that much space in the back because look, I have my seat all the way back here in the Type R. Also, you know, the red guts of the Type R. You got the red Honda emblem right there as well. Great shifter. And a little bit more space in the back here with my seat pushed all the way back. The downside to the Type R now is that there's no third row seating because we got cup holders in the middle. So we got the cup holders in the middle. Whereas in the Golf R, you know, if you're not, you know, vertically, uh, in, in my range, if you're a little bit shorter, then you don't have to worry about this, but you do have the third row seating. Plus you got the center console to pull down. So you got your cup holders there and you can push through right there. With the Golf R, this is how you open up the rear. You have your, your goodies here from Volkswagen. All right, first aid kit and whatnot. And let's see what you get on in here. You got the Volkswagen car go system, protection system. No spare tire, but you have a subwoofer right there. So that's pretty cool. You have this privacy shade right there. This is how you close it. With the Type R. So you see a lot more space in the back here. No spare tire underneath here. But we do have the subwoofer there as well. And... Let me see what do I have underneath here. Oh yeah, underneath here, no spare tire, but you have the fix a flat clip right there and space to put in a little other things. You do have privacy shaders here, here as well. So very comparable in a lot of ways, but the main way I wanna see how different, actually, you know what? Let me, let me do this check real quick. Let's check under the hood and see what it looks like for each vehicle. So, this is the manual gearbox golf R, but let's see. Ooh, okay. So no hood struts. You got the prop rod, don't like that, but at least you get the engine cover right here. And this hood is heavy. Oh, this hood is heavy. Now let's do it with the Type R and see, does the Type R have hood struts or prop rod as well? Cause we're gonna have to call, call it out if it's the same thing. So let's see. The Type R. Ooh, you can tell I, I never go in any here. And it is hot. Woo! <laughs> let's see. Oh, there it is. So the hood is a lot lighter and same thing. No hood struts. We got prop rod. So that's it underneath the hood there. This thing is hot. Florida is hot. <laughs> So that's something to, to keep in mind right there. Uh, okay, hold on, someone's backing in. Almost got hit. Thanks for looking out, Braxton. Yeah, let's see now, hold on. All right, so on the Type R, we have uh, these Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and they are 26530ZR19s, right? You see what these look like? Beautiful with the Brembo brakes. Got the red Honda emblem in the middle. Then on the Golf R, we have some hand cooks. And these are, what are they? These are 235s, 35s are 19s. All right, so they're both 19s, but these are 235s. These are 265s, so, and these are Pilot Sport 4S's. So I'm guessing the, you know, the, G, the Hemming GTI, the Type R is going to be a little bit grippier. You do have the nice red Golf R logo there. I mean, not red, sorry. The nice, simple Golf R logo right there. And then on the side, you've got the Type R logo right here in the back. And on the back here also, you have a huge Type R wing. You know when you see that it's a Type R. For those that know, you know this is the Golf R wing. Very different from our GTI wing. You do get a sunroof with the Golf R. You do not get a sunroof with the Type R. I mean, they're very similar and different in a lot of ways. Like, 
comment below let me know which one do you like the look of better i do like the subtlety of the golf r you know it's very very subtle and very capable as well both cars are very capable but obviously with the all-wheel drive the golf r is going to be a little bit more capable because it's going to have traction it's just going to lack in the cargo room so my main deciding factor on if i'm going to trade in our type r for the golf r is going to be based on how the golf r drives so we're going to take it for a test drive and see how it does compared to the type r and if if braxton is down i'll take him for a ride in the type r too yeah yeah and he, he can tell us which one he likes you know better ride wise all right so yeah, let's head out in the, in the golf r and see how this goes i like the digital dash i like the the built-in navigation those are selling points to me always but, uh, set off and it feels eager it feels like it wants to go the second gear and definitely the gears feel shorter now let's bring this down actually i'll turn here go down here and see so yeah, it definitely feels like it wants to go that's that's one thing that i'm noticing already um yeah you would think it wouldn't feel that different to the gti it feels very different to the to the gti just on the driver dynamics the driver dynamics already is extremely different like the clutch feels a little bit heavier the gears feel shorter it feels like it means business <laughs> and it feels different from the type r too the type r feels almost like a camaro ss1 ali in a way because i had a 20 uh 2021 camaro ss1 ali and that felt like a track weapon. That's what the Type R kind of feels like. It's just front wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. This feels very different. But uh, let me do like a quick pull. Let's see what she feels like. Okay. So I didn't I didn't like push it too hard, but I would say it doesn't feel as aggressive as the Type R. It did feel like it, like to you, how would you say it felt? Did you feel like it gripped and it went? I did. I do feel like it gripped and it went, um, but with it being a manual transmission, right. you gotta get used to launching at the RPMs. Right, the yes, like yes, yes. So, yeah, because every car has its own personality, especially when they're manual. <laughs> when they're manual, they have like a totally different feel to it. I would say the seats are very comfortable. For me being 6'6", like when I sit in here, I feel, pretty comfortable the only downside is that with me being 6'6 six, six, is that there's no room in the back seat here like so that kind of sucks but <laughs> but it is it is comfortable like I could see myself doing a long road trip with this like no problem and it does have the Harman Kardon sound system mm -hmm. I don't know I think I, so the type R has a bow sound system and I recently unlocked how to make that sound really good mm -hmm. so I don't know how comparable it would be sound wise but let's change the mode Let's put it into race mode and see. Oh, wow, so it opened up. Did you hear the exhaust yep. opened up? So that's pretty cool. Like the exhaust just opened up. You can hear the difference. So let's see if it gives us a difference performance wise. Cause man, you could literally hear yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just like how the Type R has like a R mode, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the, the Golf R also has an R mode. Man, it sounds significantly louder. Hold on, let me see. I don't wanna hit this guy, but. We're gonna ease in a second. Okay, yeah, the gears are definitely shorter. It, you know what it feels like? And I don't know if it's because it's new. It feels like it's being held back. It feels like there. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think you guys, when you, uh, when you, when you fill these cars, you fill it up with regular, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah, I think because these, they need to be filled yeah, up with '93. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because it feels a little bit muted, you know? Interesting. Now, be honest, right? What would you prefer to see in, on a YouTube channel? Would you like to see the variety of a Type R and a GTI? Or would you like to see a GTI and a Golf R in the same garage, same color? The GTI and the Golf R? Yeah. Because then you can show one as your daily and one as a project. Huh. And then people can really see like the differences so of dailying one versus actually modding one out a lot so you wouldn't you so the type r doesn't do it for you it's, i've met in it yet so really uh, maybe i can't make an opinion right right all right so we, i'll ask you that early. yeah yeah i'll ask you that again once we we're going to take him for a test drive in the type r and see how he feels about that 
let's do like a quick little mini pull. So you can see this thing, it, it corners, you see like you did, there was no danger, right? <laughs> it corners, amazing, pulls hard. It's, it's, I don't know, they're both amazing cars. So, it's a it's, it's a genuine 50-50 toss-up for me. I think for me, it would probably come down to the numbers. Like, if the numbers are aggressive enough, I might just do it just to do it. <laughs> you know? But it's going to be weird AF to see two white cars in a garage, like, two of the same cars like you know but let's see we're gonna we're gonna pull in we'll talk numbers and then uh you guys will see how which way we went by the end of this video so we'll see i'll give you guys an explanation later but but which one would you say did you enjoy the driving experience of more so the same way that you have your 50 50s i have my 50 50s. right <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much that's what i say it's a, it's a toss-up man because you would yeah. think this being front wheel drive that it wouldn't grip mm -hmm. but it grips you know and it grips really well so it's just, you know, it's it's a true, like if this was a fight, this would be Gerard Ennis versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Like it's a true 50-50 fight, you know? So yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll go and we'll talk some numbers and let's see how this goes. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen guys. So I'm in just as much suspense as you guys are. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right guys, so we could not come to terms. I just, I couldn't get out of the Type R. So I brought, the GTI back here just to kind of see which one I like better between the GTI. You've got the GTI 380 edition right here. The beautiful plaid seats. You know, just, just a beautiful, beautiful car. And then we got the Golf R, which is obviously, you know, a step up from the GTI. But looks wise, I don't know, man. Like, you guys comment below. Looks wise, which one looks better to you? Like I, I needed to drive both of them back to back and kind of feel, feel out, you know, which car I like better. Like I like the front end of the Golf R a little bit more. See, it has the the blue light and the light bar there versus the red one on the GTI. So yeah, I couldn't I couldn't come out of the the Type R. So, without further ado, I got breaking news for you guys. I decided to get the Golf R and keep the Type R. So, <laughs> so man, I don't even know how to say this. We now have a 2024 Volkswagen Golf R and an FL5 Type R, Honda Civic Type R. I think I'm probably the only channel with this combination of cars. And I'm super, super excited to do all the content we're gonna do like i can't even believe this deal happened it's a very long and crazy story like i literally have to do a whole separate video like i wanted to so and it's crazy how things worked out i was planning on doing that video today this video was going to be explaining how i even got the gti for the crazy deal that i was able to get it for and i came here thinking i was just going to do that and and then they told me that they got in a golf r and i was like all right so i'll do a comparison video between the golf r and the type r and then once I drove the Golf R, I was shocked at how good it was. And I'm like, yeah, we got to make this work. We got we to gotta get this Golf R. So, yeah, man, the channel's going in a completely different direction. I'm as shocked as you are, if you, if you are shocked. Like, we now have a Golf R and a Type R, and the content is going to be crazy. And I'll give you guys a heads up. The MOC got some moves, too. You guys saw that 100 Gang Nate literally just got a, a supra and his type r q is making some moves stay stay close with that you know uh blueprint one ali he's making some moves stay tuned for that we all got breaking 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 news coming and even well motivation has some huge breaking news coming as well so like just just rock with us man you guys you guys are in for a treat the content is going to be sick the content is going to be crazy and yeah man so we now we're now the proud owners of the last year of the manual gearbox golf r and we have an fl5 honda civic type r we're about to turn up man so i hope you guys enjoy this video 
like I'm still in shock. I still, I'm getting ready to go do sign paperwork right now. Everything was approved though. So should, hopefully everything goes well. I'm gonna go sign paperwork and then I'll, I'll do a, I'll do, a, I'll do a whole separate video explaining how all of this happened so you guys could understand. But yeah, man, this has been crazy. It's a crazy day, crazy sequence of days. And like I said, I'm shocked, but I'm also happy. And, and I feel blessed, man. Like I, I could definitely say, God has blessed me and I'm grateful. I don't take any of this for granted. I'm grateful for everything that God has blessed me with and, and I'm super thankful to all of you. But yeah, man, like I said, the content's gonna get crazy. And with that, race car friends out. I'm, I'm still in shock, man. I'm like pinching myself. I can't believe I'm the proud owner of an FL5 Honda Civic Type R and a Mark 8 Golf R manual gearbox 2024, last model year of the manual gearbox. It's going to be fun comparing these two cars. I already kind of missed the GTI, but let, let's be real, the, the Golf R is special. It is special. So, had to go get the Golf R with the manual gearbox. I know the Mark 8.5 is coming out, but oh, you got the Golf R logo on the ground there. You got the special uh, new Golf R wheels. I do like the, the R wheels that's on the 380 edition GTI, but you know, just one of those things you gotta do. Had to step it up to, to the Golf R over the GTI. Now we got two R's, and I think it's a better comparison because now we got the front wheel drive king, and now we got one of the all wheel drive kings. And like I said, do the chaotic, we can run the lead. They got some heat coming too, so stay tuned. Also, so does well motivation, so stay tuned. A whole lot more coming to the channel.